Hey, this is Pat, and today we are checking out the all-new Reax Fairmount 2 riding shirt. Now, the Fairmount 2 is replacing the original Fairmount. For those of you that know that jacket or are unfamiliar with that jacket, that was a double-layer cotton and denim coated black riding shirt. And what I like about this new Fairmount 2 is that it is moving to a single layer main construction with full stretch. This is a full 12 ounce stretch main construction throughout the entire jacket. And I think it's aimed at you urban riders out there, anybody who wants to blend in commuters, anything like that, looking for a casual riding shirt that has armor and abrasion resistance baked in without looking like you're the motorcyclist in the group. Now, before we get too long winded on any of the features, let's talk about the fit. I have Virgin on my left, he is six foot three, weighs 220 pounds, and has a 44 inch chest, and he's currently wearing a size large, which is accurate to what the sizing chart recommends. It's got a lot of movement, a lot of stretch baked into it, you know, no, no obstructions to the riding position or anything like that, so I do like the overall update when it comes to the fabric. Now, if you're looking for something, maybe a little bit colder weather or warmer weather, Reax does have other riding shirts. The Point Breeze would be a great mesh option, Whitman for colder riding, and the Bridger for another stretch chassis, but this is a great option. Coming in at the $230 price point, which is up from the $180 price point in the old Fairmount, but with the updates in that outer fabric, as well as the armor and a couple other things we'll talk about in a second, I'm okay with that overall price increase. So keep that in mind if you're looking at the new Fairmount too. But let's start up at the top and work our way down on the features of the new Fairmount 2. So you do have a worker style shirt up at the top with snaps to hold down the collar so it's not flapping in the wind and hitting you. If you ever experienced that, that's definitely a great feature to have in there. When we come down the sleeve, you do have CE Level 2 armor at the shoulder and the elbow. That is Axial's AX2 Air armor. It's nice and malleable, has plenty of perforations throughout it to help ventilate a lot of air on those hotter days out there. Again, you get that at the shoulder as well as the elbow. Coming down to the forearm, you do have a snap cuff closure down here. It's got two points, so you can adjust it throughout depending on how big your wrist is at there. But cutting up to the top of the jacket, you do have two top loading pockets up front with nice Reax logos on the snaps. They are blacked out. I do like that. I don't think it takes away from the overall look of it. Helps it blend in. Zipper and snaps run down the entire front, and one thing I wanted to point out is the lower snap is actually hidden behind there, so it's not going to scratch your tank or anything. I think that's a nice feature from Reax. Two hand warmer pockets with a key holster in the left-hand side, and I will say they zip down, so they're not going to rattle open while you're out riding. You can make sure that everything in there is nice and secure. Spurgeon, go ahead and uh, turn to the side, hit the riding position for me. One thing I want to point out is just the range of motion that he has. If you can kind of actually like you're riding on a bike, Spurgeon, that stretch chassis is really there to help move and make sure that you're not hindered out on the bike. And one thing that you'll see at the elbow as well is a nice pop of blacked out reflective, so you got a little bit of uh, visibility when you're out there riding at night or in maybe some inclement weather. There. No adjusters down at the side, but a nice clean overall style to the uh, the side of it. Spurgeon, go ahead and turn to the back. A bit more reflective at the upper spine up here, but a clean overall back design. No back protectors included. You definitely want to add one in there, but with enough stretch, you can really size it appropriately and then add that back protector. If you're going with Axial or another brand, you can pop that in there. It'll fit just fine. You have a drop seat at the bottom, and then Spurgeon, go ahead and turn around face front and open up here, and we'll get a good shot at the interior. You can see the snaps I was talking about before, as well as the zipper down the front. And on the inside, just a nice mesh fabric all the way throughout with a waterproof pocket over on the left-hand side. And you do have belt loops at the back that you can go ahead and secure these to your pants to make sure it doesn't flap up if you ever have the event of a slide. You can go ahead and zip that up for me, sir. So the Reax Fairmount, I think this is going to be a great option for anybody that wants to blend in out on their bike, like I said before. No real, uh, apart from these snaps as well as maybe a stitch logo on the lower left hand side, it's not too overly branded throughout. It doesn't have big Reax logos or anything like that. I think it blends in really well and as far as an update from the Fairmount 2, I really like the direction Reax was going with this Fairmount 2. If you have any other questions though, click that info button. That's going to take you over to our product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the new Reax Fairmount 2. If you still have questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, happy to help you get set up for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining Spurgeon and I and checking out the new Fairmount 2 from Reacts. I'm Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.